Hello. Well, today, uh, for Thanksgiving, I wanted to talk about uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Pretty much the only major Thanksgiving movie that there really is here in America. I mean, I guess there are some others, but this is the big prominent one. Um, I saw this on the big screen recently, the first Sunday of the month, um, and, uh, because it's 35 years old, and, uh, you know, I, I've talked about this film before, so I'll probably leave a link up so if you can, so you can watch that if you'd like, and, yeah, uh, it was a really cool experience to see this in a theater, um, I enjoyed, uh, uh, I just enjoyed it. I loved it. And, um, prior to this, um, got, uh, to see the, an extended, you know, deleted like, scene at the, uh, when, yeah, he's on the plane. He's upset. He has got bumped from, you know, to second class and, You know, it just you just see more of that scene and more of the interactions with him and Dale, and how Dale likes to talk a lot, and how in the editing of it, you would never know that there was like this big long, you know, dialogue of Dale, and how you know, he, how, you know, how in the film, this version, you know, uh, you say, uh, Ask about what he does, and he says, uh, "Oh, marketing, super, super, mm, fantastic." And then he, and then Neil just says to Dale that he uh, he's not much of a conversationalist and wants to read an article, and, and yet uh, so much of between those two things of what Dale says and then Neil says in the final version, there's a lot missing. You're, you're missing a lot, but, and yet, the way it's edited together, and how John Hughes was like, yep. This is just, uh, fantastic, um, honestly, uh, just to see. And, um, you know, uh, for, for the 4K Blu-ray release, uh, I don't have it now, but I've ordered it, and for whatever reason, you know, the pre-order just hasn't come here, I don't know why, well... Actually, I kind of have an idea because it's from you know, a website that had like a steel book of it that kind of looked pretty cool. Um, you know, it just, I thought, yeah, why not? You know, it's, a, it's like a special kind of thing that, you know, it, it just has been very late. It should have been here already, yet. I mean, as of now, who knows, by the time you see this, I might have already gotten it. But for whatever reason, uh, it didn't come Monday, um, as I'm recording this now. So, I don't know what the deal is. Um, but there is a, dis a separate Blu-ray disc, a normal Blu-ray disc. So, it's not two 4K Blu-ray discs. It's just, you know, one 4K, but like... Blu-ray disc with all the special features here. Um, you know, getting there as I have the fun, the story of planes, trains, and automobiles. John Hughes' life moves pretty fast, which is basically like a, sort of like a uh, uh, basically like a documentary about his life, or as well as a heartbreaking triumph of. John Hughes, like John Hughes for adults, trip to John Candy, and then one deleted scene that we all know uh, that was that will also be on the normal Blu-ray disc. Um, I'm wondering if that will be in the exact same quality we have here. I would assume so, but I don't know <laughs> the quality of the deleted scene in the theater that I saw uh, that I and so many others saw. <laughs> Um, it, it's, it's from a VHS 
tape, so the quality isn't the absolute best. But I'm sure it could have been worse. And uh, I've seen some pop up here and there and recommended to me on YouTube because people have already gotten it like last week and such. So um, I've watched through those and I just can't wait for my copy to finally arrive. You know, I, uh, I ordered mine from Zavi. Um, I've never ordered anything really from them before. And so, might be one of those things where, because it's like a limited edition kind of thing, and like for Steelbook or whatever, it's might be very overwhelmed by just how many people got it or pre-ordered it and have to send them out as uh, fast as possible while also probably being here before Thanksgiving, hopefully, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to come on and say, you know, I, I really love this film. It's a great film. Of course, it's a Thanksgiving film, so it's, this is the best time of year to watch it. Though, I guess you could watch this perhaps any time of year, and it would be fine. You know, it's hilarious no matter what, but this time of year, it's very fitting. And um, to have been able to see this movie on the big screen was amazing. Uh, especially when um, uh, you got to see a deleted scene, <laughs> an extended scene that for the longest time, you know, there's been people, you know, like there's like the script has been around on the internet for a long time. So people have always been able to look at that script and read what all was removed and how at one point he never included or it, he never intended for a single scene to be removed. Like, the film was going to be, like, over three and a half hours long. And he's like, yep, everybody in the theater can go and watch this movie and be fine. You don't have to cut a single thing out. You can sit there for almost four hours and be entertained from beginning to end and not feel the film's length. Was at least, seems to be the sentiment that John Hughes had from what I've uh, read as well as what has been told because there's a famous uh, video now that is over the last few years about uh, the, the missing scenes of uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, which I think is part of the reason for the 4K version to, with it being with it coming out now and having a separate Blu-ray disc with it with all the deleted scenes that they could get because there's 75 minutes of deleted scenes which of course on top of like the uh film is like oh how long is this 92 minutes and of course some of the stuff is just extended so it's not just a completely separate scene deleted altogether um where you can kind of think of where the context is so there's like a few seconds to lead in and to lead out of the scene. Um, so there could be like some, there's like, some, like a few minutes of the actual scene in the finished film that we all know. Um, and yeah, this is a, a film that we can, you know, just enjoy more with, uh, with these deleted scenes now being able to be watched. And, uh, yeah, um, I know this is kind of all over the place, really, but, you know, I wanted to talk about this film again because I saw it in the theater, plus it's 35 years old, and I also thought I'd have the 4K version uh, out now, but, of course, pre-ordering it from a website I have never ordered anything from before. I don't know. Uh, it was supposed to be here by now, and probably have to see about what's going on with that specific site and company. Like, because you know you can track the where your item is being shipped and all that, but sometimes 
those can be kind of wonky and whatever. And plus there has been some snow, so that could be part of the problem. So some of the other stuff I've ordered already have already been here on time. So I guess it's not that big of a problem for some companies who are able to ship things from here or there. So I don't know what the deal is. But yeah, I, I'm probably going to do that because, you know, it's a bit ridiculous. But who knows, hopefully by the time Thanksgiving is here, I'll be able to be like, yeah, if I, I, got, I got the, <laughs> I got it, it's not a big deal. But being able to see this movie on the big screen was great. I love to see classic films on the big screen. I love to see new movies, but sometimes new movies just aren't as uh, interesting or engaging, if that makes sense. Or you're not interested in seeing it. Or maybe you'd like to see it, but it's like, I can wait until it's uh, streaming or on Blu-ray to see it. Um, glad I saw this. This was definitely worth watching. Um, in a theater with people, um, and I'm glad to have been able to, uh, know about those deleted scenes, uh, coming earlier in the year when they announced the 4K version, yeah, and so, but, yeah, and I'm glad that people who have gotten it early have posted some of that out on, uh, online however it does say is on the bottom the scrolls like you know property of paramount pictures so i wonder that's kind of annoying that they don't you know like the scenes of of all that they had they paramount themselves i guess weren't able to find those removed scenes and it's just uh from a vhs tape comprising of 75 minutes that we're able to, you know, watch uh, these deleted scenes and such. But, you know what, it's better than nothing. Being able to see more from this film, uh, I'm welcoming to it. I'm welcome to it. I welcome it, whatever I'm trying to say. I don't know now. I'm rambling more than I should. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, pretty cool thing i'm really happy to have see this in a different way because I, I haven't seen this in a theater before um it might have been re-released prior but i it might have been one of those things where i didn't know about that at the time because it it took some time for me to really know of um re-released films like old films and release in the theaters like a few times a month because uh, I became aware of it like a decade ago uh, and one of the first movies I saw on the big screen was Jaws when it, they re-released re that and then I saw Schindler's List and yeah it's just some of these films are just great and deserve to be seen in a big screen in a big theater and um i don't believe uh um i regret you know i don't regret this at all i'm ha completely happy i've been able to see the various films i've been able to watch on you know, in a theater um and some people just aren't able to and either because uh, any theaters in their city or nearby they don't show those uh, films, or they're just just bad timing all, all the time. You know, like they just can't ever see an old film when they have like a weekend free or whatever, and they want to see it. But you know, maybe what what might be playing isn't something they are interested in at all, and something they were interested in, well, they couldn't see it because they had something else to do. Um, but yeah, you know, I consider myself fairly fortunate and, um, yeah, this is a great film, still is, um, and uh, it's one worth watching 
this Thanksgiving season, especially with the new version where you can even see more of it now. And so I hope um, all of you are having a great day. Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving um, if you're in America. If you're not in America, I hope your day is going well. I hope the rest of the week will go well for you and that you'll have a great weekend and that your week has already been great. That's meant for basically everybody. And until next time, I... Uh, see you all later and i hope to be able to have this in 4k as well as a few other things i ordered because i want to do kind of a big kind of you know a big video of just some of the stuff i've gotten and i want to talk about hope that won't be a problem but you know you never know um but yeah i Hope all of you are doing well, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.